I'm Marley Oxenholm from Pentester Academy TV, and welcome to our show, Access Point, where we spotlight cybersecurity companies and give an inside look at the people and technology behind the latest advancements in the industry. Today, I will be speaking with the company Spin Backup. I'm sitting down right now with Armand Agaronian, who is going to show us a demo of the Spin Backup platform. Take it away. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so this is what the Spin Backup platform looks like. Um, this is our dashboard. On the left side, you can see a just with backup summary. Mm -hmm. On the right side, it's a short cybersecurity summary. Um, so for the backup side of things, it's pretty simple. What we do is we're going to take all your data on Gmail Drive, Team Drives, calendar contacts, and sites, and we're going to back it up uh, one or three times a day, depends on which plan you're on. Uh, and anytime you want to access the data, you would simply go to Users here to the left, and then you would either search for users or you would find them on this drop-down menu. So say I want to go to Victor Smith's Gmail, I can quickly do that. And that would pull up the restore interface. From here, you can either select a couple of files. So say I want to select these two. And you can restore them pretty quickly by clicking Start Restore. You have a couple of other options from here. You can migrate the data over to a different user. So say I just fired an employee and I want to migrate his data to Alex, I can do that. Uh, click Start Restore here. You can also view emails directly from here. So say I want to view this Spin Backup Weekly Report, um, I can do that. I'll view the email directly from here. Um, you can download the data to your local device if you want. So say I want to download these two files to my computer. And um, most, I would say the best feature that we have on here is our versioning. So what this is, is it actually lets you go back in time for your backups and your restores. So say I want to go back to February 7th. Uh, there was three backups that happened on that date. Say oh, wow. I want to go back to this one, click OK. And as you'll see here to the right, all the files were changed back to that date. Um, so then it would be the same process. I would select the files, click on Restore, but it would restore this version of that same exact file. Okay. And this comes in especially useful in case of ransomware, let's say. So if you're hit by ransomware, you simply go back a day or two or you go back a month and you can restore that version of it. We also have uh, manual backups on demand if you want. So say you just got an important file, you don't want to wait a day to get it backed up. You can do that by clicking the backup button and you can quickly move through um, you know, all the services here. So say I want to go to Google Drive. I can quickly do that as well, and uh, everything's the same here. So that's pretty much it on the backup and restore interface. If we go to settings quickly, you can um, choose to backup shared files if you want on Google Drive. You can choose to backup trash for mail and drive. Uh, you can set other permissions for users and administrators and kind of manage them here choose your automatic backup frequency, choose to get monthly or weekly reports if you want, your email. Um, this is a pretty cool feature for enterprises where uh, anytime uh, you add users on Google, let's say, we will automatically add, you, add them on Spin Backup, purchase licenses for them and assign them on Spin Backup as well. Um, so this is pretty cool if you, to automate the process. We also have a retention policy. You can um, choose anything from 12 months and up. You can choose to have it be on the indefinitely and we'll you know, um, keep your files for as long as you're with us. And then uh, restore alerts, have those sent to either the admin or another user. And then a brief account summary here on the bottom. So that's pretty much it on the backup side of things. And moving on to cybersecurity here to the right. Mm -hmm. um, it works pretty much the same way as the backup, where once a day we're going to have a security scan that happens. And the security scan will tell you about a couple of things. So first uh, and foremost, we have the domain audit. Mm -hmm. And what this is, is it tells you and it gives you full visibility of everything that's going on in your organization. So you got uh, activities like users logging in, logging out, installing apps, um, say somebody is downloading or transferring files, you can also view that. So uh, you can filter it by that, obviously. And then anytime you click on the risk level, uh, you would see exactly what happened. So you would see Victor Smith has downloaded 102 files. It would give you a list of the files. So, wow, full details. Exactly. It's pretty cool. 
Um, moving on to some other types of activities, you have data sharing, you have employees deleting things completely or deleting into the trash bin. You can see that, say somebody's logging in multiple times uh, and they're not able to access the data, say it's an invalid login that happens, uh, we'll notify you about that as well. So say Victor Smith tried logging in four times with the wrong password, so we would notify you in case it's a brute force attack from a hacker or something like that. So um, that's what the domain audit looks like here. Um, if you click on the user, you would actually see uh, specific information for that user. Oh, wow. So say I click on Victor Smith, I would see exactly what he was doing, right? So if you're suspecting an employee, uh, you're not sure what they're up to, you can track everything directly from here, right? Uh, moving on, the next thing we have is the data audit, and this will tell you about all items shared with third-party users. Okay. So let's say you have a Google Doc, a presentation, or something like that, it'll tell you who the owner of the file is, it'll tell you who's being shared with outside of the organization, mm. and you can cancel the sharing with uh, one click. Wow, that's yep. pretty cool. So you can do that directly from here. We're also working on a mass cancel button to cancel everything, pretty much. Nice at one time, yep. And uh, from here, we also have uh, sensitive data detection. And um, this is where uh, we detect sensitive information. So say there's credit card numbers being exchanged or being emailed throughout. You can see everything here. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we have algorithms here who detect this information. And um, probably most, the best feature that we have on here would be the ransomware protection. And this is the most commonly used feature. Um, this is where we're going to automatically um, detect and stop ransomware attacks. So this is just two examples of an attack that happened. And as you can see, Spin Backup stopped it pretty early on at 39 files. Um, nice. And, yep, as I said during the presentation, this is a crucial feature for companies to have. Uh, getting emails saying that, you know, you were hit by ransomware, don't worry about it, we took care of it, you get kind of like a summary of what happened. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty awesome to have. So that's it for the data audit. Finally, we have the apps audit. And this will tell you about all um, third-party apps that have access to your G Suite account. So from here, you would actually uh, get ones that are trusted, that spin back up things that are trusted, and then ones that are risky. So your job as the G Suite admin would go to the ones that may have risk, and you would click on them to get further information. So say I click on Awesome Screenshot, right? And uh, it's not to say that this is a bad app. It's just, um, you know, we think that there may be a possible risk here. Mm -hmm. So we're just telling you, you know, have another look at it. And when you click on the app, we'll tell you more information about it. So we'll tell you what Google says about the app here. We'll tell you what we say about the app. So for example, this one has a possible risk um, of policy violation, which means that um, your organization is using another app to do the same exact thing. Oh, okay. So why would somebody else install this app and use point. this app instead? Exactly. So that's just one of the many possible risks that we notify, notify you about. Mm -hmm. And we would also tell you what users and how many users the app has access to. And you can actually either mark it as trusted if you know the app and you know you can trust it, or you can remove access, uninstall the app, and even blacklist it. So none of your employees will be able to ever install it again. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much it for the third-party apps audit. Each app is reviewed twice, as I said earlier, mm -hmm. once by our you know machine learning algorithms, uh, and then once again by our um, engineers. So. If you see this research in progress, that means that it's being reviewed again. Oh, okay. By, uh, Going through its vetting process. Exactly. Very nice. Exactly. And this is just to give you more accurate information mm -hmm. and a better score and just to review it and make sure that we're pro providing you accurate information. Um, and, yep, that's pretty much it for the app audit. Um, moving on to security policies. This is still in beta, mm -hmm. but uh, this is uh, really an enterprise feature to really set and assign custom policies for all the features that we just talked about, so the domain data and app policies. Um, and the way that it works is you would create specific rules for each of these. So say I want to create a rule uh, 
mm -hmm. name it test, and I'm able to, for example, I want to uh, create a rule where there's a white list or a black list for the data audit, right? So if you have a domain that you trust and you don't want to see them on a data audit at all, you would be able to create a rule here saying that I don't want to see that app, show me all the other apps. Okay. And this would be just more specific, you know, and it would, it would really help you with, um, to customize these three features. And then you would create that rule, click Next, show you a summary, and then that's pretty much it. You'll be all good to go. That sounds easy. Yep. And then uh, we try to make this as simple as possible, but it itself is more of an enterprise feature mm -hmm. because you would have the default permissions that spin backup sets, obviously, but then you would be able to uh, create your own as well and then edit those. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, finally, we have security settings where you give us your email or Slack, turn this on, and then you would get uh, daily security summaries by email. Mm -hmm. Um, or by Slack, which will just tell you, give you an overall, you know, an overview of what's going on. So um, that's pretty much it for the cybersecurity end. Um, you got that one-two punch combo with the backup and cybersecurity on the other side to fully protect organizations um, all across the board. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We offer a free trial on our um, page where customers can go and test all this out. Nice. And uh, most of the time, they're pretty shocked by what they're able to discover, you know, especially on the domain and data audits, because most of the time, companies don't know what risks they have. Mm -hmm. You know, um, when they get this and they see what their employees are doing, and they see all of it in effect. Uh, they're really surprised by it. So we do offer that free trial. Very nice. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. This was incredible. Yeah, it really allows you to see the full bigger picture and step back so you can know your risk assessment. Yep, exactly, exactly. And then the full uh, platform is fully automated, as you can see. I mean, for the backups, they're just fully automated, nothing to do here, really. Mm -hmm. Cybersecurity, too, there's that security scanner that runs in the background. Yep. And, uh, you know, you really uh, get to use the platform when you really need it. You don't have to check up on it every day. Nice. And um, that's pretty awesome as well. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sitting down and demoing this for me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. It's been great. Absolutely. And that's all the time we have for today, so be sure to tune in next time for another episode of Access Point. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on HackerArsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.